Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. Today I have a shaker box to share with you today. And I've been working hard because I have made several options. So those three are the kind of the same, but I used a slightly different bow. This is using Marina Mist. This is using Smoky Slate, and inside are the, what are they called? The sequins, fancy frost sequins. This is Bermuda Bay and Soft Sky, this option, and this mixture has silver and purple and that sort of thing in there. I got those from the dollar store. This is the Mint Macaron version, and I cannot remember the um, green color sequins that um, are in here. So, um, so this is Mint Macaron and this is Soft Sky and the sequins are from Studio Ketchup. And then of course the Mint Macaron uh, bow on this one. And this is the one similar that we're going to be uh, using, or making today uh, sweet sugar plum rich razzleberry and uh, sequins they're flowers aren't they the cutest they're from studio katia k-a-t-i-a -A. Um, and these were called central park daisies and she still has them for sale so cool hey um, and I showed in a video um, Wednesday uh, how to make these coasters. So these house my coasters that I'm giving away for Christmas gifts. But you can deck, you can see how, uh, what a wide variety you can do these shaker boxes in. So I'm moving that aside. I have one more set of coasters to do. Scoring tool out. A piece of cardstock this is the sweet sugar plum and it is sized at eight and one eight by eight and one eight sorry I have to take my little shim out first okay so I'm going to score at one two and one eighth six and seven and one eighth flip it around do the exact same thing one left, one, two and one eighth, six, seven and one eighth. All right, so that's the bottom part of the box. Then this is the top of the box, and this is where I'm using my shim. So my little shim, I've just cut it down. It is a piece of rich razzleberry, folded in half, so it's double thickness and I put a few glue dots um, just the and I sort of de-stickified them and that's where I'm going to put my little shim so the reason why I want to put my shim in is because I'm um, especially a double one is because I want this you can see how well that box fits on there and it's it's perfect I don't think it'll come off but um, unless you actually pull it off so it's a snug fit and I liked that okay and this piece of cardstock is five and three eighths by five and three eighths and we're gonna score at the three quarter inch mark on all three sides or all four sides All right, that's it for the scoring. Okay, so we're going to fold and burnish on all the sides. And we're going to do the same with the big cardstock.
I'm not too worried about that jumped track, but I'll tidy it up anyway because I'm a Virgo. Okay, so we might as well start to cut. So I'm going to cut up. I'm working basically on these four triangle or four. Why do we always say triangles? Four squares. So I've just loosened them. I'm going to angle this part here. And then I'm going to cut off this part here. So just before filming this, I'll tell you a horrible little story. I bought some inkjet uh, cartridges for my inkjet printer. And um, I have a toner printer as well. But I, my inkjet needed some attention. So I went out and I spent, you know, the cartridges for inkjets are pretty expensive. So I went out to Staples today and picked up a hundred dollars worth of ink for my inkjet printer. And I had to um, use their little diagnostic tool on my printer to clean all the ink heads and I must have had to do it five times and then this spongy part thing in my in the inside of my printer got completely saturated with ink and not the good kind of ink that we use but inkjet print printer ink so my fingers are stained my scissors are stained and um, my printer is now ruined. It, um, yeah, there's a foamy piece that just got all ripped up. And I live in a town where there isn't really printer fixers. So I just spent $100 worth of ink for nothing. I'm a little ticked off, <laughs> to say the least. But oh well. And I do print in color a little bit, but not terrible. And I, you know, if I do print out black and white, then I use my toner printer, which I have. And I really actually liked the printer I had. It was an Epson. And it had a scanner to it too. So, but now I am minus it. I have, you know how sometimes you just wanna hug your computer things and just hug them out into the bin. <laughs> well, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, you can see what I've done here. So I'm going to put Fast Fuse just along the edge there. And then, without sticking things to your desk, you flip it over and you do, I suppose it really doesn't matter. You can flip, you can put it on the inside too, but it's easier this way. Okay, this box needs to be put together. So anyway, the reason why I told you about the ink is because it was on my scissors and now it's on the corner of my nice box. It's the frustration that keeps on frustrating me, I guess. Okay, and then these bits are just gonna get folded inside just like that so basically you just want a nice sturdy box see like could not have asked for a tighter box and this I'm using my smaller scissors for this because this is a smaller job and it makes quick work of it it's exactly the same as um, the other one except uh, it's only a one layer meaning that um, 
I didn't double up on the side. I didn't feel like it was necessary. All right, almost ready, almost done here. I've made this type of a box so many times before, but it's definitely something to go back to. It's a really nice build, really. And with that shim in there, that has given us perfect sizing, right? And a nice, tight, snug fit. Okay, so what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need some shaker bit material. So I have my foam strips. I don't have very many left. Foam strips, I have a piece of uh, rich Razzleberry and that is uh, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and then I have a piece of acetate that's three and three quarters squared. So I have my squares, what are they called? Layering squares and in the bigger pile the biggest square that is what we're going to cut the shaker out of. So I'm going to take this over to the Big Shot. I'll be right back. So I'm going to use that on a different project somewhere along the way just because it's such a nicely cut out. And I'm just going to put Fast Fuse along the inside. I am trying to get close to the window edge. I did bring up my tear and tape here in case because it just has a it's like an eighth skinnier than the tape fast fuse but it's not a big deal because there's not much of a gap and I always like to I don't know what it is it's satisfying to press the adhesive down and I actually get to see it really adhere to that window. It's not necessary. I think it again it's because I'm a Virgo. So I think I got these um, little pieces from a paper pumpkin kit and I'm just gonna because they're kind of already cut for me which is nice. Okay, so we've got our shaker on. Let's just make sure that everything is pressed down. I'm gonna take off the release paper. It's late at night. <laughs> And uh, I wanted to get this video done 
it's really busy in the salon and uh, where I work and I seem to talk all day long and then I talk on video <laughs> I'm trying to be entertaining for you guys but I'm a little drained right now and I need to get this done because one of these gifts are going to the Christmas party that I'm going to with my the lady my upline so this is how I'm doing my little shaker card I'm using the last of my fancy frost sequins very exciting woo yeah, watch out for the uh, static electricity. Awesome. Look. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit of ribbon and guess who just woke up from his little nap? Sir Quinn, the crafting kitty. <laughs> yeah, get your paw away from here. Should I show everybody your little nap? Are you decent enough? Shall I tilt the camera for you? How many people want me to tilt the camera? They're probably more interested in Sir Quinn, the crafting kitty. Can I do it? Not really. Not easily. Say hi, Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Say hi. <laughs> Sorry to make y'all dizzy. <laughs> I've gotten requests to show more kitty in my videos. Okay, glue dots. I think that's probably the best way to do it. And I mean, I just put it off to the side because I wanted the person to be able to shake. Okay, so that's the project for today. Again, all the um, measurements and everything are going to be on my blog. So the link is in the description bar below. Thank you so much for joining me. And... Yeah, I'll see you soon. Look at them all. How fun. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye. sticking around to the end of the video on screen are two more videos for inspiration click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel thanks again for watching